So we're practicing a new technique. Stormy is gonna try it out right now, so it's really, really hard. What's there you up, are. Flomies? I hope you're having an amazing day. We are having fun. We're about to ride some fresh colts. Stay tuned, it's time to get this day started. We obviously have to start with getting our lift on. Stay tuned. Today is one of them days. One of them, uh, if I don't get my butt out the door right now, my whole world's gonna cave in on me. Oh, but I got that merch to keep me safe and warm. It's time for my butt to be on the road. I gotta go see Daniel. It's time to go to Destination Pain and get my sweat on, so let's go. Bye, Drama. See you later. Bye, girls. What? I'm coming. Uh, slowly. You see what he does to me? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Everything hurts, but I'm excited. Charles, how old are you? Huh? How old are you? 76. And you're in the gym how many days a week? Five. Hey, he does boxing. Training with me one on one, and what else? Just boxing and yeah, just these two. Well, right I now. need to do my cardio again. But, then. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a he does boxing and yeah. one on one training. So like yeah, so that's yeah. please tell us your excuses, <laughs> please. The thing is that I got invited to go to Rodeo Houston. It's a really big deal, and so what I've decided to do, legitimately, is I am I turned out of every rodeo until Houston. I am not going to any of them. And so I can dedicate that time to this. This, yeah. So that's so what I'm doing. We'll drop the same amount of weight we did for yeah. the show for this. And yeah. Look amazing. And for the things. Kill, kill this thing too. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> I can kind of move my legs. I can barely hold the camera up. So I'm doing the most for you guys. Oh, all right. Time to go ride some ponies. Let's do this. <laughs> I asked you for your camera and then oh, I'm going to give you my camera. Quit I cupping your gins. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, hang on. I got something to show you. <laughs> Cup your gins. <laughs> all right, you done? Do the potty dance. I'll meet you in the arena. If you were here with us yesterday, check out yesterday's episode of Fallon Taylor Vlogs. Previously on Fallon Taylor Vlogs. Where am I going, you may ask? Well, I practice what I preach. Just like I tell you guys, I look online everywhere to find mentors and coaches. That's why I became one. I've been obsessively watching show jumping and I saw a guy that won a big show and they said, oh, and this guy is now residing in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I messaged him. I am being coached by his staff today, so I'm really, really excited about that. Okay guys, I want to make this a horsey deep thought today in that what is it that you want your horse to perform? So a lot of people when they come to one of my clinics or they ask for advice, they always tell me like I want my horse to do this or that or I want a five year old child to be able to ride it but I want to go to the NFR on it but I want a rope and then I also want to be a show jumper. Well I just want to let you guys know it's best to pick exactly what you have for your horse in mind. 
what is that thing that you really want to do? What's your end goal? Because my end goal were for him to be an all around horse that runs barrels, poles, I can head and heel on him. I will take a different path. Much like with my goals, if I narrow them down to that one thing and really focus all of my energy, my odds are better that I'm going to attain those goals and do it in a way faster manner. So don't compare your horse to everyone else's. Baby Flo is not a horse I can do everything on but I can do a lot of good. Mojo is more of a horse that I could probably do a lot of different things on, but he may not be baby flow in other ways. So make sure to compare your horse only with the goals that you have in mind, not other people's horses. That's it for Deep Thoughts with Valen Taylor. Okay, if you haven't already gotten a hold of your merch, make sure to go to shopthemerch.com. Use your favorite squad member's code to get hooked up with this new Drink Your Protein piece. I'm so excited about it. Stormy, I know your hands are full. What do you have on? What do you have on? I see that piece. Barrel horse. What? What? And then I got like a, an underlining too. Oh, snap. Yeah, it's rodeo and ain't easy. It ain't, is it? No, it's very stressful, but <laughs> look at this. Look at this piece. Yeah, it's a sweet piece. Oh, snap, rodeo and easy. Yeah, hey, oh, screenshot this, put it on the gram. <laughs> Stormy will like it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. In case you guys haven't already heard, this is the new piece from Troxel. I'm so excited about this. Make sure and go to shopthemerch.com and get yourself one of these brand new Troxel helmets. They are sick. I'm so proud of the designs and I think it'll help you ride with protecting your melon all the time when you have something that's really beautiful to put on your noggin. Also breaking news, Kylie Jenner has announced the name of her baby. What is it? What is it? Stormy. Why did she name it after you, girl? Can I get an interview? Ma'am. I'm just like Kylie's other friends. I don't expose her life. <laughs> I don't do any of that stuff. But I will say I do know she named her baby Stormy because she just like likes the way I look at life, likes the way that life looks at me. Just like life. The sun is literally beaming right on you with the highlight pop in. Just probably call me right Can now. you take <laughs> I was just acting like I knew Kylie Jenner and that she was not that she was not See, it ain't Kylie. <laughs> what are you doing? What does Kylie have to say? Kylie sounds a bit like this today. <laughs> Kylie sounds a bit manly. <laughs> well, I'm mm. try to we'll, we'll do that. Chuck, <laughs> do you have anything intelligent to say today? Chuck. Oh <laughs> my holy censored. Whoa, we need a blur. Flowbot. No. Flowbot, B's bad. Teenage boys. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Chuck, how can you even focus with your brother acting like this? Oh, it's just like high school love. All speed and no control. Jeez, Willies. My current issue is this very squeaky boot. This is so annoying. Yeah, it's like I have a duck call in the bottom of my boot. That's nice. Just waiting on Stormy. Waiting on Stormy takes all day. She don't let time get in her way. She preps and she gathers and she gets everything ready. She darn sure is gonna do everything slow and steady. Are you about me? <laughs> I'm in the middle of a poem, so if you could just something about Stormy that I know to be true, there ain't no friend better than you. I do have faster friends. Is it your turn? Yeah. Hang on, let me check my timer. Cody and Jesse, I love y'all. There ain't no friends better than y'all either. Squad, 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 squad. Hang on, let me check this timer. And we are ready to go. Oh.
Ryan. So we wanted to record the Colts against Nick Knack so we could see where everything is because there's no reason to practice without progression. So we always want to like track your progress. Even though these barrels are like not on the regular stakes, we have no idea. So she's trying to beat 18-2 Mojo, 19-7 Lolo. So we're practicing a new technique. Stormy is gonna try it out right now, so it's really, really hard. <laughs> Breaking news, again. <laughs> We're back. Back to you, Chuck. Okay, uh, yeah, so breaking news from Chuck Norris is he goes really hard in the paint. He he bent metal today. <laughs> like, this used to be a horseshoe. It used to as in like five minutes like ago. Like five minutes ago, before <laughs> that third barrel that you just saw, this is what <laughs> happened. I have an amazing farrier. He's great at his job, does a great job. I just think that Chuck Norris goes that hard in the paint. <laughs> So, there's not really anything you can do. No farrier's match for Chuck Norris. <laughs> no farrier, even as good as mine is. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button. Ding that little bell because at 100,000 subscribers, we are gonna change a Flomi's life forever. So make sure you're subscribed. Well, I'm glad I lived to tell the tale of Chuck Norris and his crazy bent up shoe. We lived through it. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Make sure to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow.